Hello YouTubers. I'm uh, making a movie for one guy in particular. He called me last night and needed some help with something in the sawmill range. And believe it or not, I've been on YouTube for maybe 15 years. I, I don't know when YouTube was before YouTube. And I really didn't know the power of it and didn't have computer skills to uh, excel in it. And if I wish I, wish I had... I'd probably be a millionaire now, but that's the way it is. Can't cry over spilt milk, but you can try to lap it up. Anyhow, he needed some help with his uh, governor on his Detroit, and I was going to send him some pictures, but I don't know how to send pictures over the Internet to. Well, I can sell one or two, but I can't send more than that, and that's why I got started on YouTube years ago because I needed... Uh, I wanted to send somebody, trying to help somebody out. That that was the whole purpose, to help, help somebody out in the sawmill range. It really, that's how we got started, or how I got started. But anyhow, that's, so this movie is kind of focused for him, but other people can look at it too and might be helpful. Uh, he was working, curious how I got the throttle going. And here, this is an old throttle off a, I think it's an international. I don't know. It, it, I think it had the back plate. Yeah, it looks like it had the back plate with it. And we just put a stop up here so you can run it up. And that's the RPMs I want. And then when you're done, you kick it back down. So that's all that that's all that's here. Up to it stops. And we set the blade. This this was a kind of a random blade. And what we did is ran the RPMs up until that blade stood up and and stood real nice and still. And that's then we set set this to that. And this is a cable. I got no idea where I got that cable at. Doesn't even look like it's tight, does it? Guess I'll guess I ought to tighten that a bit. Anyhow, and it comes down here to this bracket, then it goes on over to the to the thing to, to work the clutch. Just to have an air. I don't know what this. It. it I think it's a brake thing for a tractor trailer. But that operates the air clutch over here, which you could probably do it on a pull type too but that's what that is it just operates the clutch so i can disengage the saw from the sawyer stand which i like that that feature i have no stress in the belts because there has no belt so there's no torquing of the belts which that was a issue just different things we found this is how i have the setup here it just comes to a bracket i made tied to the bell housing and it comes up here i needed a long a long rod this is some kind of octagon rod that i found someplace but this is the governor that he's he's interested in looking at this is a variable speed governor so i'm going to look at this one then we're going to go back and look at the one on the 471 i'll take you along for a ride and you, you to turn it off you just pull that which i i haven't hooked that up but that's going to probably get an air cylinder to it to the um uh Sawyer stand also and also what we're doing here eventually if we ever get that far is this setup here has a um, it's kind of a multi multi uh, thing tape this thing has a has a brake on it so probably hook up a brake to an air cylinder you can see it operate that that so I think we'll hook that up so I can also slow the blade down every now and then you get something stuck in between the saw and the uh, table and you want to stop the blade and you know it takes a long time for all that rotation to slow down so uh, that's the purpose of it so anyhow we'll take one more lick look at this you can he can review it I, like I said I don't remember his name or everybody can review it so that's that's kind of the setup there and it kind of comes over and here's the setup here and the governor comes down and goes into your your blower housing there's your water pump there's your fuel pump and there's the I don't know what that is. Oh, um, maybe that's what drives the blower. I guess that's what drives the blower. Um, Jeffrey's the Einstein when it comes to these things, not me. All right, so that's that's it for here. We're gonna drive back, take a Kubota ride, and uh, run on back. Having a rough go of it today, guys. I uh, came out and this tire was tire was flat. So I said, okay, I'll I'll air the tire up, take it up, and squirt some water on it. So I washed it and washed it and all that kind of nonsense. Come to find out, it's got a leak right there in the sidewall. You can see I marked it. Well, it's got four in the other side. No, there's three on the other side. There's one there. There's one there. You can see how they're just 
dry rotted. You wouldn't think a six ply uh, tire would rot like that, but it did. And they were about 150 bucks a piece, which kind of didn't make my day. And then I went to move my big white truck that I used for that uh, ground grabber thing, and it doesn't want to start. So I'm not having a real good day. I, I moved a load of wood wood up to the house. Um, anyhow, we'll go back and show you the um, governor on the 471 and the setup that's back there. And if you guys are running, uh, building something, it might help you out. That was the whole purpose of, of doing that. Been on this ride once or twice, haven't you guys? Big blue herring over there, you guys can't see it. But he's over there. I think he's fishing. Speaking of fish, I don't know if you can hear me here. We, we, we used to have a lot of fish. Well, not a lot of fish, a few tropical fish in the house. And they were very sensitive to temperature and, and it ma mattered what you fed them and when you fed them and all sorts of goofy nonsense. And uh, finally, the last one died. It was a kissing garami and it was about, I, it might have been 10 years old. It was the last fish in there. He floated around and one day come down and he was kind of floating on the bottom. So we didn't have anything in the fish tank for, I don't know, several months. And the little neighborhood, Penny's grandson, was down there and he caught some minnows in the creek. There's a creek down there. That's where the herons are fishing. And he caught me four minnows. They were about, I don't know, maybe an inch long. I don't know how long that is, but about an inch long, maybe two inches long. No, they weren't two inches. We put them in the aquarium. One of them now is six inches long. You don't have to worry about heat. You don't have to worry. You can feed them anything you want. You know, I'll feed them if I'm having something with a hamburger in at night. I'll feed them chunks of hamburger. Those guys are like piranhas, man. They're unbelievable. And they just about jump out of the water. I'm going to do a video of it. Anyhow, here's the governor setup on this one. It's kind of hard to see. But see, there's that spring down in there. See the long spring? Looks like I need to clean the air cleaner, doesn't it? It's only been four years anyhow that's that's the same thing and that turns it to stop it here's the setup in the back half of it you can see the spring I'm gonna go over here this is the setup I got this was this is just the way it was from Detroit and I hooked another big cable looks like the same cable I must have bought two of those at the same time and you can see the linkage goes up to the, the governor I guess you can see the spring in there, but that's a variable speed governor. And then it comes on over here, you follow the cable. I had to go through there, keep it off the ground. It was more to, because I didn't have, it wasn't long enough to drape it anywhere else. This came off a old uh, Ford corn cutter or something like that. I have no idea exactly what it was. You, you pulled your tractor up and it had it would pull up the corn on both sides of the tractor and then shot it in the back and that was how you adjusted so that's all I got for adjustment this one here I just pull up and it's whatever it was set at so I've never changed the setting on it so anyhow that's that's what the governor setup looks like on this thing it's gonna be YouTube uh, kind of a informative one not for the normal to watch so it's kind of negotiable whether it's a <clears throat> good one or not do you think Detroit's leak oil <laughs> anyhow if you could do me a favor take the time out and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and the biggest thing you know what I want for Christmas present is everybody to send send the movies to somebody else so somebody else sees these I, I need to pop up the channel a little bit even though this isn't something that just about everybody would want to see we're going to saw this log this is coming up next but i don't know exactly when it's coming in but we're going to um i needed uh some boards and i'll go over this in the next movie i need one board you never know what's coming in on this thing i feel like i, I got a pair of glasses on i don't know why there we go i can see it now seven i need one board seven and a half inches wide one board nine inches wide and then another I gotta fill in the space that's 31 and three quarters wide. 
So I didn't know what I was going to do with that board, so we're going to saw that up and try to get it to you guys. So that's what I'm up to now. I'm going to I'm going to video that, but I'm not sure. I might put that on. I might put that on before this one just cuz you guys deserve a uh sawmill video. It's, it's it's been a while. That was uh I don't know what I was cutting boards off of that for. Somewhere it's in a v past video. So do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe and send it to a friend for my Christmas present. We'll see you later. So I'm going to set up to saw that, uh, saw that, I guess they call it a can't. I don't know why they can't call it a can. I don't know why they call a live edge a live edge on a tree and it's dead. Why don't they call it a natural edge? Boy, I just don't know what's going on anymore. Well, thank you now. We'll see you. Bye-bye.